Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay didiscuss ko sa inyo kung ano-ano ba ang mga mathematics subject kapag kayo ay nasa engineering course. So kung gusto niyo itong malaman, just keep on watching. So kung kayo ay senior high school students at under kayo ng STEM strands at balak nyo ang kumuha ng engineering course ay malamang na nakukurious kayo kung ano-ano ba yung mga subjects na itetake nyo kapag kayo ay tumuntong na ng first year college as engineering students. So particular dito sa video na to, magiging particular lang ako sa mathematics subject na itetake nyo kapag kayo ay engineering courses. Since marami tayong iba't ibang engineering courses like electronics, electrical, civil, mechanical, industrial, chemical, etc. But mostly, all of these engineering courses have common mathematics subject. So kaya, ang ipofocus ko dito ay kung ano ba yung mga mathematics subject na pwede nyo matay kapag kayo ay nasa engineering courses. So, ibabase ko lang to doon sa experience ko noong ako ay undergrad base dun sa transcript of records ko. So, meron akong transcript of records dito. Depende sa curriculum ng school na pag papasukan nyo kung ano yung SEM nyo itetake yung bawat mathematics na to. Pero, pero base dito sa uh, video na to, ibabase ko yung mga order ng mathematics subject na tinake up ko nung college siya ko base dito sa curriculum namin nung panahon yon. So, first of all, introduce ko muna na ako ay isang electronics and communications engineering student na graduate sa Technological University of the Philippines, Manila or TUP Manila noong 2014. So, shout out dyan sa mga naging prof ko sa TUP Manila nung undergrad ako. At kung gusto nyo rin mag ng engineering, try nyo rin mag-enroll dyan sa TUP Manila kasi maganda yung engineering dyan sa TUP Manila. Kasi magaling ang TUP Manila when it comes to engineering courses. Most likely, nagiging top notchers yung mga graduate sa TUP Manila sa engineering courses. So, for example, in our case, nung graduate ako, yung batch namin ay nakaproduce na tatlong top notcher sa batch namin. So, I can say na actually, hindi lang sa ECE, kahit sa ibang engineering like electrical, mechanical, civil ay nagtatap din yung TUP Manila. So, I suggest, try nyo lang mag-enroll sa TUP Manila kasi state university naman yun para kayong naging scholar doon. So, mag-start na ako dito sa math subject na take ko no or SEM first year. So, sa TUP Manila pala ay dalawang SEM lang per year. So, dito sa first, during my first year ko doon sa TUP Manila, first SEM, yung math na na-take up namin ay yung Math 1, which is College Algebra, Math 2, Plane and Spherical Trigonometry, yun, sa dalawa. Sa dalawa yung mat namin nung first year, first SEM. So, overview lang doon sa College Algebra at saka sa Plane Spherical Trigonometry subject nyo na tinake namin during our first year, first SEM. So, sa College Algebra, expect nyo na mas may hirap yung mga sasagutan yung exercises since college level algebra na yon. So, ganun pa rin yung mga topics. So, uh, pag-aaral nyo pa rin yung algebraic terms, algebraic expressions, loss of exponents, polynomials, um, rational expressions, radicals, word problem, factoring and multiplication of polynomials, and etc. But, yun nga lang, kailangan mas uh, prepared kayo dun sa mga challenging questions na mas tatanong kapag nagtik na kayo ng college algebra. Particular sa exams, ay hindi siya ganun kadaling uh, mas advanced level siya yung mga tanong na pwede nyo matake kapag nag-exam kayo for college algebra. Hindi na tulad sa high school na simpleng uh, problems lang yung binibigay. Ganun din sa spherical and plane trigonometry. Siyempre, dahil college level na yung trigonometry na yon, mas mahihirap din yung tanong. Mas challenging. So, bibigyan kayo ng questions ng mga prop nyo so, ganun pa rin sa trigo, pag-aaralan nyo yung different trigonometric ratios or functions, both right triangle, trigonometry, tsaka mga oblique triangles, different laws like cosine law, sine law, tapos under din dito yung unit circle, 
trigonometric identity, solving trigonometric equations, tapos under din dito yung logarithms. So, parang advanced algebra kasi yung logarithms. Yung lo logarithms, uh, natural logarithm, common logarithm, logarithmic equation, loss of logarithm. So, pag-aaralan nyo rin doon. So, dapat prepare din kayo sa mga questions na pwedeng itanong sa inyo kapag nag-exam kayo dito sa algebra at sa trigo, which is pang college level. Okay? So, for the second sem of our first year, meron naman kaming tatlong math subjects. So, meron kaming Math 3 na Solid Mensuration, Math 4 na Analytic Geometry, at Math 10 na Advanced Engineering Algebra. Okay, so dun sa Math 10 na Advanced Engineering Algebra, from the word itself, Advanced Algebra lang siya. Hindi ko na maalala yung specific topics na under dito, pero ang pinaka naalala ko, kabilang dito yung mga matrix, matrices, yung operations on matrices, uh, Kramer's Rule, Cos Jordan Elimination, etc. Tapos, dito rin namin ata sinolve yung mga different inequalities. So, linear inequalities, quadratic inequalities, rational inequalities, etc. So, then dito naman sa matri, yung solid mensuration, so solid geometry lang siya. So, dito, diniscuss din namin yung plain geometry, yung mga different formulas for area, such as circle, triangle, quadrilaterals like square, rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram, etc. As well as yung mga formula, kapag nililil na tayo sa solid geometry, yung mga 3D na, yung mga formula for volume of sphere, cylinder, cone, pyramid, etc. So, so sa solid geometry, formula B siya, pero at the same time, kailangan alam nyo rin mag-analyze ng mga dimension alam nyo kung paano gamitin yung plane geometry para masolve nyo yung problem. Okay? So, dito naman sa analytic geometry, so, usually, yung diniscuss namin doon ay yung uh, graphing different curves sa rectangular coordinate systems, particularly yung line, yung equations ng line, how to find the equations of perpendicular and parallel lines, Tapos, plotting triangles, the Cartesian coordinate, finding its area and its parts, and proving the different theorems on triangles or geometric figures using coordinates in rectangle coordinate system by applying the different formulas such as midpoint formula, distance formula, division of line segments, ano pa, yung different conic sections, yung mga graphs in different conic sections such as parabola, hyperbola, circle, ellipse. Okay, yung different form ng equations nila, pinag-aralan namin dito sa analytic geometry. So, tulad dun sa algebra at trigo, expect nyo rin na mas may hirap na yung tanong dito sa tatlong math namin dito sa second sem for first year. Kasi nga, pang college level na rin. Next, para dun naman sa second year namin, yung math naman namin dun, all calculus lang. So, sa first sem, Differential Calculus, tapos sa second sem, Integral Calculus. So, dun sa first sem, yung Differential Calculus, ang mga topics na discuss ay yung limits of functions, how to find the limit of function, limits of function when x opposes infinity, infinite limits, one-sided limits, etc. Tapos, definition of derivatives using the limit, which is the slope of a tangent line at a point, tapos, Yung different formula for derivatives of functions, such as power formula, derivatives of trigonometric functions, chain rule, logarithmic functions, etc. So, diniscuss namin yun on how to find the derivatives of all such functions, including uh, implicit differentiation, some applications of differential calculus like related rates, finding maxima minima, tapos graphing or sketching the curves using differential calculus, Ano pa? So basically, yun yung mga topics namin sa differential calculus. Tapos, nung second sem naman, yun na yung integral calculus. So, so related naman yung integral calculus sa differential calculus kasi kapag nag integrate tayo, inaando lang natin yung differentiation. So hinahanap natin yung antiderivative ng function. So pinag-aralan namin doon yung iba't ibang formula sa integral calculus, both trigonometric, power formula, logarithmic, exponential, tapos yung, yung iba't ibang techniques on how to solve the integral of, of a function, 
like use substitution. Tapos yung iba't ibang techniques on integration like integration by parts, integrating rational functions by using partial fractions, tapos yes. mga different uh, cases when you are dealing with trigonometric functions that are raised in a certain exponent. And then yung applications ng integral calculus like finding the area bounded by curves, finding the volume generated by the revolution of a curve through a certain axis, centroid, center of mass, etc. During the second year, puro calculus kami. So, syempre, mahirap yung calculus. So, dapat magaling kayo doon sa mga foundations nyo, doon sa, let's say, sa algebra, trigo, geometry, kapag nagtitik na kayo ng differential sa integral calculus. Kasi prerequisites nyo talaga yon. So, asahan nyo rin yung mga challenging questions na itatanong sa exam kapag nagtitik kayo ng calculus. So, I think marami rin bumagsak sa amin nun sa calculus kasi, kasi hindi sila prepared or kulang sila sa foundation nung mga basic math bago yung calculus. Okay, so dapat handa kayo doon sa calculus, both integral and differential. Okay, doon naman sa third year namin, this time, start na rin namin mag-take ng mga major. So, doon kasi sa TUP, yung first at second year namin, mostly mga minor subject yung tinitake namin. So, nung tumuntong kami sa third year, doon na nag-start na mag-take kami ng mga major subjects namin. Particularly, nagkaroon na kami ng subject for electronics, circuit, electronic devices, tapos circuit. Doon din, nagkaroon kami ng tatlong math sa third year, which is yung math 11 na discrete mathematics, math 12 na vector analysis, tapos math 7 na differential equations. So, yung discrete mathematics, most likely, para siyang yung mga topics sa probability at fundamental uh, counting principle like yung combination, permutation, different concepts of probability like conditional probability, Venn diagram, mutually exclusive events, tapos uh, iba't ibang types of probability like binomial distribution, Poisson's distribution, bias formula or base formula. Basta most likely, lahat ng mga math doon na tinik namin ay related sa probability tsaka counting techniques. Okay, yung iba't ibang example, word problem doon ay yung parang doon sa mga tossing a coin, tossing a die, throwing balls from a box, tapos, so yung mga yun, hanapin nyo yung probability ng ganun, and so and so forth. Number of face ng ganun, number, number of arrangement of people in a row or in a circle, given that there are conditions na bawal sila magtabi, yung mga ganun doon mga tanong sa mga most likely yung mga logic questions na ma-apply nyo yung different formula for counting techniques. Tapos meron din kaming vector analysis. So yung vector analysis, higher math na to. So dito pinag-aaral namin yung uh, different vectors, operations on vectors, tapos dito rin parang higher calculus siya. Pag-aaralan nyo dito yung double integral, triple integral, other coordinate system than rectangular coordinate system like spherical, cylindrical coordinates, applications of vectors such as finding the volume, finding the area of a geometric figure using vector. So basically, ang magiging reference book nyo dito probably ay Calculus 7 ni Lighthold kasi yun yung ginamit namin nun. Yun naman sa differential equation, so, applications na siya nung natutunan nyo sa differential tsaka integral calculus. So, as a differential equation, magsasob lang kayo ng differential equations using different methods. So, kasi iba-iba yung maging differential equations na may encounter nyo. So, meron tayong iba't ibang types. Variable separable, homogeneous equations, linear equations, exact differential equations, solving differential equations by using an integrating factor, tapos meron din kapag homogeneous constant coefficient differential equations, yung merong particular solution tsaka general solution. Tapos yung different applications nung differential equations like elimination of arbitrary constants, family of curves, tapos yung um, Newton's law of cooling, growth and decay, ano pa, 
make sure or solution problem. So, maraming topics sa differential equation na nakakalito kasi pag nagbigay ng exam yung teacher nyo, halo-halo na. So, malito kayo kung anong pwedeng techniques yung gamitin nyo para masolve yung differential equation na yun. So, kailangan nyo dito ay practice kayo mag-solve ng differential equations, lalo yung iba't ibang cases na pwede yung gamitin sa pagsasolve nito kasi nakakalito na kapag halo-halo na yung ibibigay sa inyo ng prop. So, dapat practice lang kayo. Okay? So, base sa case namin, during third year, marami yung bumagsak sa mga math subject kasi sabay-sabay nga. At the same time, meron din kaming mga majors na terror. Terror yung mga prop na uh, kung magpa-exam ay mahirap. So, I think, I think marami yung na-kick out sa amin noong third year kami kasi as a state view, dapat wala kang bagsak na tatlo. Pag magsak ka na tatlong subjects, makikick out ka. Tapos kapag dalawa, magiging probationary ka. Talagang mahirap yung third year stage kapag nasa engineering ka. Base doon sa school namin. Okay? Tapos, doon naman sa second sem ng third year namin, isang mat lang, which is yung ELE2 or yung Advanced Engineering Mathematics for ECE. So, Mahirap din tong advanced engineering mathematics kasi advanced math na nga siya. So, pag-aaralan nyo dito yung uh, complex numbers, how to evaluate expressions involving complex numbers involving both imaginary and real number i, uh, different forms of complex number like rectangular form, polar form, exponential form, tapos so, solve nyo rin dito yung complex numbers involving trigonometric functions, hyperbolic functions, finding the roots of complex numbers using De Moivre's theorem. Tapos dito rin papasok yung mga matrices and different operations on matrices, addition, subtraction, multiplication. Tapos, different methods of finding the determinants. So, maraming methods yun. One of this is the cofactor method. Tapos, Solving systems of linear equations using matrix, applying Kramer's rule or Gauss-Jordan elimination. Tapos, inverse of a matrix. Pag-aaralan nyo rin dito yung Laplace transform. Iba't ibang formula sa Laplace transform yung apply nyo, particularly kapag masasolve kayo ng differential equation using Laplace transform. So, medyo mahirap din yung engineering advanced mathematics. So, dapat pag-aaralan nyo rin mabuti yon or mag-advanced study kayo para makasabay kayo dun sa mga topics na pag-aaralan nyo dun sa Advanced Engineering Mathematics. Next, dun sa 4th year naman namin, medyo light na lang yung math. So, sa 4th year, dun na kami nagkaroon ng last mathematics subject namin. So, sa 1st SEM, meron kaming Math 8 na Probability and Statistics. Tapos, sa 2nd SEM, meron kaming ELE 7 o yung Numerical Methods. So, yung... Math 8 na probability and statistics. So, parang lang din yung, discrete, yung dun sa discrete math. So, pag-aaralan nyo yung iba't ibang formula for probability. Like yung mga nabanggit ko. Like yung binomial distribution, Poisson's distribution, Bayes' theorem, conditional probability. Tapos, apply nyo rin din for fundamental principle of counting, combinations, permutations. Tapos, sa statistics naman, pag-aaralan nyo yung iba't ibang measures of central tendency, both group and group data, like mean, mode, median. Tapos, pag-aaralan nyo rin yung standard deviation, yung variance, saka standard deviation. Tapos, mag-analyze kayo ng isang, mag-analyze kayo ng data. Then, give, bibigyan kayo ng different data, sa i-analyze nyo using statistics. Pwede gumamit kayo ng different statistics approach, statistical approach, like using regression, correlation, accept or not to accept the validity of hypothesis, etc. So, yun yung probability and statistics. Doon naman sa numerical methods, usually, from the word itself, numerical methods, iba't ibang method siya sa pagsasolve or paghahanap ng value ng isang expression. For example, sasolve natin yung isang polynomial equation. Pwede natin masolve yun using different numerical methods aside dun sa mga natunan natin formula like yung uh, finding the roots like if a factor natin or apply natin yung direct formula like quadratic formula cubic formula pwede yung gamitin dito yung iba't ibang numerical methods like bisection method Newton-Raphson method etc. So, madali lang siya as long as alam yung process 
nung pagsosolve ng bawat numerical methods na i-apply nyo dun sa expression. So, basically, yun yung mga math subjects na na ko during my undergrad in college as ECE students. So, pwedeng maiba yung pagkakasunod-sunod nung mathematics subject na yun under sa curriculum nyo ngayon. So, not necessarily na magiging the same yung order nung math subjects na itatake nyo sa college kapag under kayo ng isang university other than PUP. Other than my university. Kasi iba-iba yung curriculum nila. Lalo ngayon, magpabago-bago yung curriculum lalo nagkaroon tayo ng uh, K-12, right? So, it depends kung yun pa rin ba yung mga math subject kung may madadagdag or kung may mawawalang math subject kasi nga meron tayong adjustment for K-12. So, but basically, yun yung mga dapat na mathematics na, naka, na ma-include sa isang engineering course. In general yon either kung ano mang engineering course yung pinili mo. Okay? So, I suggest na kapag mag engineering nga kayo, dapat yung foundation nyo sa math nung kayo ay high school ay maganda na. Kasi, kakailangan ninyo yung magandang foundation kapag nasa actual engineering course na kayo. Kasi magiging mas challenging sa inyo kung dun pa lang kayo mismo kapag mag-aaral or magka-catch up dun sa mga basic math or dun sa mga math nyo nung high school kapag actual engineering student na kayo. Okay? So, dapat mag-double time lang kayo sa pag-aaral palagi. Ah, uh, less nyo yung distraction. So, dapat i-prioritize kayo yung mga subject na sa tingin nyo ay may hirapan kayo, i-advance study nyo na para kapag tinit nyo na, hindi na kayo ganun kahirap kasi na, napag-aralan nyo na in advance. Lalo na kung higher year na kayo kung saan kasabay ng mga may hirap na math subject yung mga major nyo. So, tendency talaga magsasabay-sabay yung mga may hirap na subject at may tendency na magbagsak kayo lalo kung sa math din ay nahihirapan kayo. Okay, so, I suggest dapat aral lang kayong mabuti at dapat lagi nyo itatatak or huwag nyo kakalimutan yung mga natutunan nyo sa mga lower years nyo kasi i-apply at i-apply nyo rin yun kapag tumungtong na kayo sa higher years. Okay? Or even sa work, lahat ng natutunan nyo ay ma-apply nyo yun. So, dapat huwag nyo kalimutan at namnamin nyo yung mga natutunan nyo sa college. Okay? So, for engineering mathematics subjects, Meron akong mga videos at playlist na pwede nyo panoorin sa specific branch ng mathematics para makatulong sa inyo sa pag-aaral lalo kapag tinitig nyo na yung mga math subjects na yon sa college nyo as engineering student. So, for math videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga future videos na i-upload ko. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.